Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, turn discuss uh, further into polar coordinates and now look at graphing polar curves with a calculator. And the calculator I'll be using is the uh, amazing Desmos graphing calculator, which I've covered in my earlier videos. And uh, basically, you, you can graph some pretty amazing curves using polar curves. And in fact, polar curves as well as parametric curves are, are one of my favorite math uh, topics and were in fact uh, the main reason I actually started this whole channel years ago. Yeah, because I wanted to learn more about it and just, and just uh, find out why such simple equations can graph such amazing curves. So let's just jump right in. So polar coordinates graphing polar curves with graphing devices. And this is a section from my calcul calculus book. So although it's useful to be able to sketch simple polar curves by hand, we need to use a graphing calculator or computer when we are faced with a curve as complicated as the ones shown below. And this is from my calculus book. So you have this th this ring right here where it goes like, like this up and down like a sinusoidal wave, but in a loop uh, in a circle. So this one is just r equals sine squared uh, 2.4 theta plus cosine uh, to the power of 4 2.4 theta like that. And here's another curve right here, which is an amazing star shape. Both these are both symmetric, but the pole or the origin. This one's r equals sine squared 1.2 theta plus cosine cubed 6 theta. And this is an absolute amazing shape like that formed just out of this uh, equation like that. So uh, let's just go further. So some graphing devices, devices have commands that enable us to graph uh, polar curves directly. With other machines, we need to convert to parametric equations first, but the Desmos calculator, which I'll uh, go over in a bit, can do it in both polar or parametric equations, but I'll, I'll, I'll show both just for completeness, because you could graph similar curves using uh, both types. So in this case, we take the polar equation, r equals f of theta, and write its parametric equations as, and again, this calculus book is a bit old, so that uh, I guess when the writers were yeah, writing the, the book, they might not have had uh, such um, yeah, calculators I could do both and uh, yeah, but regardless let's just write this in both and I'll show you in both using the Desmos calculator So first if the, if we have a polar curve r equals f of theta yeah, If we have r is theta and then it's basically r's distance from the pole again It's just a refresher. I've been going over this in my earlier videos, but just again This is if this is the polar axis. I'm just gonna go over it again for just completeness So now if you have that's theta the angle and that's polar axis, and this is the origin, this distance is r, then we have the coordinates r, theta. But if we want to write this in parametric equations, we basically want to get this in x, y form, so we'll impose this on a x, y axis like that, and what I'm going to do is draw a right angle like this. So if this height here is y, and then this distance from here to here is x, in other words, we have uh, coordinates as well, so that's r, theta, or that's the same thing as x, uh, theta like that and that this is the coordinates in both that's polar and this is Cartesian coordinates and again recall you just use trigonometry to find the relation between the two so cosine theta is just equal to adjacent over hypotenuse that's x over r like that and then we have sine is opposite over hypotenuse y over r and then all we do is move the r to the other side and then we end up getting equations for x and y. So we get x equals 2, r cosine theta, and then we have y equals 2, r sine theta, like that. And now we know that r is just a function of theta, just this angle, and so that means we could just replace this by f of theta. So we get is x equals to f of theta cosine theta, and then y equals 2, uh, r is just that, f of theta, sine uh, theta, like that. And so we have now Cartesian coordinates, or, um, or basically not Cartesian, I mean uh, parametric equations for uh, the polar curves in, which are in Cartesian coordinates um, as well. And again, here's a note from my calculus book. Some machines require that the parameter t uh, the, the parameter be called t rather than theta, and that's the case with the Desmos calculator as well. So let's try the Desmos calculator to see if we can graph these two, and in fact, we can. But first, I want to get, go over some important notes and useful tips for using the Desmos calculator. For powers of trigonomic functions, powers other than 
uh, 2 and negative 1. We need to use brackets instead. So if you try to do, uh, like this is this is in uh, Cartesian, I mean, yeah, this is in uh, parametric equation form. So if you use sine squared, that's okay. So as you can see here, only cosine squared and cosine to negative 1 works. Otherwise, use parentheses. So we can't put the 4 there. We need to move it outside. So for example, cosine 4 theta needs to be written as either cosine bracket theta 4 to power 4 or cosine of bracket the whole thing cosine theta 4. So these are the exact same thing. This equals to this, but you just need to write that for the decimalist calculator. Also for parametric equations, we use the, the T parameter to graph the curve, but can use other English letters like A, B, C, etc. Uh, to graph individ individual points, but it needs to be English, I believe, so you can't use theta, that won't work. And also for polar curves, you need to write this as r equals f of theta. Using other variables will we'll, uh, obtain, uh, this is type of, will be viewed as, Cartes uh, as a Cartesian curve or just basic xy curve. And also if you type out theta, automatically inserts theta, and typing out pi automatically inserts so the symbol pi like that. Yeah, so I'll go over that in a bit. And here is the curve that I uh, developed. This is exactly this, the same one as above, and you could do it in both forms. You could write in a polar curve, or you can write this in uh, the parametric curve. I'll move, move, it, move some space here, just to show this part here. This is just our r. That's just r, and this equals to f of theta, like that. But you need to write this as t. So this, I'll just put that equals to f of t, just the same thing. Yeah, notice there's the r, and then we have cosine, there's a sine. So then this is the same thing as having uh, basically x, y, like that. And that's the y. So these are just graphing those coordinates, and basically then we need to specify the range. So t is from 0 to 10 pi, in fact that's makes a complete rotation. Any other one, you're going to have either, if it's greater, you're just going to uh, go over the same points again. If it's less, you're not going to have the full curve. And again, this is the same thing as writing, I'll write over here, f of t, cosine of t, bracket, yeah, bracket here. Now we have f of t, and then sine of t. So this is the way you have to write uh, the uh, parametric curves in the decimal calculator. You just put a comma there. And the, but then for polar, you just type it in as is. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Here is the calculator. There's a link to it. And here's the decimal. This is just loading uploads exactly as you saved it. You can create an account, save it like that. But you could also just go and click share, and it creates a URL exactly as it is like that. You could also play around with it over here. And let's see what you could do. You could make it projector mode, makes it bigger like that, and you click it bigger uh, across there. I'm just going to make it regular. You could also hide grid, uh, axis numbers, hide, etc. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this, and now just play around with this stuff. So I've created uh, three curves. Uh, as you see here, if you click this, it hides it. So this one is the one I just went over earlier, and yeah, as you can see, this is in polar curve form. There's a sine squared, and I put the 4 on the outside because it won't work otherwise. If you click here, yeah, this is in parametric form. That's just the r there, and there's a the cosine t. As you can see, it's it's actually, in fact, the same thing. I'll hide this, and I'll put this. It's it's exact same thing here. See, if you can hide this, hide the exact same type. And just to show you how easy it is to graph these, I'll, just, I'll graph it in polar coordinates first. You can just create a new item here, and let's just see what happens. R equals 2 cosine. I'm just going to write theta, and it just makes a circle there. So there's a circle around there. I'm going to hide these. And again, if you do a power of 3, it doesn't work. Power of 2, that works. You get an infinite, infinity sign. So if you want to make a power, you just got to do bracket like this. Power of three, or oh, whoops, there's too many brackets. Like this, three. Yeah, so we get something like that. Four, another infinite loop like that. Let's see what happens if we plus sine theta. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a pretty cool shit. I think this looks something like that. Uh, was that Airbnb or something like that? So, anyways, play around with that and see what you could find. Again, you could also write this in polar uh, coordinates. What I'll show you here, if you click another impression. I'll just write this as, uh, whoops. Yeah, whoops, go back over here. So what you could do here now, if you write cosine, for example, theta, and then let's just write sine theta. Yeah, that doesn't work 
there. Uh, it just gives you weird stuff. If you put T and T, so that we get this one here. But if you put A and then A, you need to add a slider. So if it's yeah, as you can see here, you can move this around, which is pretty cool. You can, in fact, you can do press the play button. <laughs> so yeah, you can do some amazing, amazing stuff here. So I'll pause this, and you can also change the speed. Quite amazing stuff. I highly recommend just, highly recommend just yeah playing around with this. Quite amazing stuff. So yeah, we need to use uh, the T there, but yeah, the the T puts it over here and T etc. Like that, and you could graph the same one. You could put the R over here. I think you could write. Or actually, that's some other way. Anyways, I'm just gonna remove this and this. So yeah, play around with those. But here's the ones I'm gonna show. Is this one? Uh, yeah, same thing over here. As you can see, this one's from zero to ten pi. If I move this here and do this, notice if I just have it pi, it's something like that. And again, you could just write pi, and it makes it pi. If you go to one, actually it's twelve. Let's go to two. Two is still not complete. Three is not. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you put well. If you put another one there, it goes more. So you have to put a ten. If you put another zero, yeah, it's the same thing. And then here's another curve. Let's hide this. This one, yeah, it's that same star shape that I showed earlier. It's a big one like that. And again, you can have it in. Uh, yeah. So this was the. Um, in the parametric form, and this one is the polar form. The, the exact, it's the exact same curve. And again, over here, you could change this. This is from zero to ten. I'm just gonna write one. If you put a one, it goes like that. Put a two, put a three, put a four, put a nine here. Nine looks complete. We put another zero, and notice the the difference. You add more stuff on top. Yeah. So if you look at my mouse here. And then you put another zero just to see it overload. Yeah, so it's not there. So if you put a ten, and as you can see here, if you put another zero, yeah, it's the same thing. And another curve I did was this one. This one's from my physical copy of my textbook. The other ones were from a digital one as a different version. Uh, yeah. So, but then I could screenshot the digital one. But I'm following on my physical one in my videos, and we get this this really cool shape like that. It's like a leaf. Or whatnot, and this is the sine theta plus sine uh, phi theta over two, and that's all cubed. And you can have it in, again parametric, non-parametric form. Put this over here, and then you could I'll hide this, make this uh, smaller. Now you can. Uh, this one's from zero to four. If I remove the pi, put a three, and then put a four, and then put another zero. That's uh, that's complete. Goes around like that, and that's t again. So. Yeah, so actually I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to copy this whole thing to show you some cool stuff. I'm going to copy like that, right click it, I'm going to make a new expression and then paste this here like that. I'm going to make these all A. A. I'm going to make this A. I'm going to do the same thing here. A. A. And then let's see this one A. So yeah, I made that A, so you get a point across here because we have these ones over there. I'm gonna move this uh, down here, scroll everything, and press play, and see how it goes all the way around it, perfectly like that. Absolutely amazing. You could see that curve there. Absolutely amazing. And then you could pause and you could change a lot of stuff. So this this calculator is absolutely. Amazing. Anyway, so so that's that. Let's just see what we have now. The rest of this, I, I took a screenshot, put it all over here. So we have the ring there. We have that star shape, and then written in both uh, parametric and polar form. We also have uh, this shape here, that leaf shape, like that. This is the equation. Again, I'll put a note. This figure was in the physical version of my calculus book, whereas the first two figures were from a different version that I only have a digital copy of. Hence why I simply copied and pasted from, from the digital copy while I'm currently following along my physical copy. Hashtag FYI. Anyways, try it out for yourself. Let me know of the amazing curves you create. Hashtag amazing Desmos calculator. And uh, yeah, like always, yeah, that's all for today. So hope you enjoyed this. And like always, you can download these exact notes 
in the link below. And you can also view these as an article at, at steamit.com. My username is at MES. I'll post these shortly after I upload this video. And yeah, these are some absolutely amazing curves you could do. And let me know some, uh, some of the stuff you make. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another Math Easy.